Hi, I'm Jordan Boone with the Altus IT department, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Turning Point with Exam View to import your old test and also to create new tests. Open up Turning Point in your dock or your launch pad. For this demonstration, we're going to choose the Create Content Offline option. To import data, click Content at the top of the Turning Point window. Click the Content drop down menu and choose the option to convert exam view files. From here, navigate to where your exam view files are located and you can select the files or the folders to import your data. By holding the command button, you can select multiple files or folders to import to turning point. Depending on the file type or the amount of files, this could take some time. After the import summary is generated, you can review the report and click OK to continue. All of the tests that were imported should be available for viewing and editing under Turning Point. Select the Edit Question List option to view, edit, rearrange, create, or delete questions within a test. Click on a question and drag it to rearrange the order. When selecting a question, you can click on the drop down boxes to change the type of question as well as how many choices are given. You can also type in the answer in the box furthest to the right. By clicking on the pencil symbol, you can fully edit the content of the question on the test. While you're in this editing menu, you can select any of the other questions on the test. Click the questions icon to add, duplicate, delete, and import questions from other tests. Click on the version icon to create different versions of a test. Type in a number for the version you wish to create. You have the option to add with new questions or to add with existing questions. If you choose existing, you have the choice to sort through all of your previous questions. You can also randomize the questions and the answers. Click Add Version to proceed to create a new version of the test. Once you are finished adding a version of your test, be sure to save your work. If you wish to edit any version of the test, 
Look in the top right hand corner, select the drop down menu, and click the version that you would like to edit. Once you have finished editing, you can select the print icon to print off that test. From here, you can select a student copy, a teacher copy, and an answer key for your test. You may also select which version you would like to print. To create a new test altogether, click on the content drop down menu and select New, and then select the question list. Name your new test and give it a description. At the bottom of the window, select the New List option. From this menu, you can select the total amount of questions, answers, what type of test, what type of format, and numerous options to create your test. Once you've selected these options, be sure to save your work. Here you are able to type in your test questions and the answers. Once you are done entering your question and answer key, you can either go on to another question or you can save your progress. The following will show you how to preview your test before you print it. 